boy Chris, face of Iron Gang, H2G Fit Coach. And you can follow me on Instagram at I-R-O-N underscore G-A-N-G. That's Iron Gang. So, the topic of this video is gains in proper context. Why, why would I say gains in proper context? Give me a second. The reason is I see so many people throwing around the word gains. I'm going to the gym. I'm going to make some gains. I'm going to get these gains. I'm going to lift for these gains. And usually it's a lot of younger people. Um, it's a lot of people that's into fitness, into lifting. And I don't want to knock nobody's hustle, right? I mean, I, I don't want to, you know, if, if if that's what you're into, you know, that's, that's cool. When you want to make gains, of course, everybody want to get bigger. Everybody want to put on muscle. But I think people are lacking the context. And I think the actual term gains is a faddish word. I think it's 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 popular. I think it's like the word swagger. Remember when swagger was a popular it word? It was it was I got swagger. I got so much swag. I'm swagging. I'm certain. You know all that. I think for fitness, I think particularly weightlifting, gains has become that. People will say, I'm going to the gym, I'm going to get these gains. No, you are not. What is gains? Gains is building lean mass, lean muscle. When you see these guys in the gym that are buff, that are swole, but they kind of look a little pudgy, those are gains. They are eating a lot of food and they're lifting a lot of weight. They're not doing a lot of cardio. They are trying to bulk up and put on muscle. When I see other people talk about gains and just gain, like you hear the people who use it properly are saying, I am bulking. I'm not making gains. I am bulking. I'm eating a lot of food. I'm lifting a lot of weights. I'm not doing a lot of cardio because I don't want to sacrifice muscle loss. Because in this in this, I don't want to say industry, in, in fitness community for people who are want to get big, want to build a physique, it's an ebb and flow thing, right? So the ebb is your bulk, right? When you put on, eat a lot of food, you put on the weight, you lift a lot of weight, you, you're going through hypertrophy, so you're growing muscle, right? And then the flow is when you're cutting, you go through the cut phase. When you're not eating a lot of food, you don't cut your calorie intake, you're going in through a deficit, and you're you're still lifting, but you're not lifting as heavy. You're lifting at a more intense rate, and you're doing a lot more cardio to send your body further into a deficit so you can burn more fat, so you can strip away the fat and show all of that new growth muscle that you got when you were in bulking season. That's the flow. Ebb is the gain. Flow is the actual muscle. So when people say they're going to get gains, and I'm looking at people, and I'm like, yo, it's... I think the the perception outside of people who haven't educated themselves on what making gains is, is that you can build muscle and burn fat at the same time and still look jacked with a lot of separation between muscle groups, a lot of definition in the actual muscle groups, and actually be swole, and that so isn't the case. That's It's not impossible to burn fat and build muscle at the same time, but it's such a complex thing to do that your diet, nutrition, and training has to be really spot on and really extremely calculated that, and I think that's what people's idea of making gains are. Losing fat and building muscle at the same time. The reality is that that concept is so complex that there's not too many people actually doing it. And for the ones that are doing it and are actually successful doing it, it's, it's a full-time job. That's more like competitor type, type of, type of way of looking at gains, gains. 
So, you know, I, I kind of did this video because I'm, I'm, I, I kind of get frustrated when I hear people say making gains. I'm, I'm making gains. It's a fad word. You know, it's a popular word in fitness and weightlifting and um, physique building, you know, and the people that I know to say it, they don't really have the muscular physique, you know, and if they do have the muscular physique because they've been lifting a lot, um, they obviously want to look like really jacked guys who are not in the bulk phase, you know, but they look like they went over their bulk, you know what I mean? And, and they're just lifting muscle for the sake, I mean, excuse me, I'm, I'm all over the place. They lifting weight for the sake of lifting weight. And, um, if you're in the gym and you lifting, you lifting to accomplish something. You lifting because you want to build muscle. You know, once you built that muscle, once you've gotten bigger, now it's time to show off that muscle. You want to show the world what you've been working so hard at building. So strip the fat off of the muscle. That way you can show the separation in your biceps. You can show off them rounded shoulders or those massive traps. You can show off those big ass quads and you know, those separated hams, you know, you can show those big ass calves, you know, that you've been working hard for with the separate, with the heart shaped separation in the back that you've been working hard for all winter time. So if nothing else, guys, for everybody who talks about gains and making gains, please Please look at that word, that term that you're using. I know it's simple. It's, it's trivial, right? It's, it's trivial. It's a fucking word. Excuse my language. Gains. It's, please, if you're applying it, you put in an application to what you're doing in the gym, please look at the context that you're using it in and please readjust. If you're one of those people that's using it because it's a fad, because it's a... It's a uh, it's one of those keywords, you know what I'm saying, that catch people's attention. Please repurpose, you know, how you're using it. And I don't want to say how you're using it. Repurpose what you're doing. You know, please look at it in a proper context. And maybe you need to adjust what you're doing, you know, in terms of making gains. You know, maybe look at nutrition and dieting, what's proper for bulking. That's the true gains, bulking for gains. And then look at stripping the fat off of the muscle so you can show off that actual muscle that you built, those actual gains. You have to lose the fat to show the gains. So that's all I want to talk to you guys about today. Um, it's your boy Wolfpack Chris. Again, you can find me on Instagram. I R O N underscore G A N G. Um, hope you like this video. If you did, hit the like button. Um, if you have something to say about this video, please leave a comment down in the comment section. If you really like this video, enjoy it, all my other videos. If you watch my other videos, which I'm pretty sure it's not a whole lot of you people at this point that are, um, subscribe to the channel and please share this information with your friend. If you feel the same way I feel about games and it's, it's just a fad thing right now um please share this video i mean to get people in back in the right proper context of what actual games are and you guys have a blessed night iron gang for life iron gang out